curing malaria. Why don't you want to make the world a better place? Let me explain something to you. The sun throws a certain amount of energy onto this planet. We turn it into food, clothing, shelter, etc. It supports an amount of us, and it took 30,000 years for that amount to become one billion. In just 130 years, our population doubled. The next billion took 30 years. The fourth billion has taken just 40. So here's the question. What do you think is going to happen when that oil and coal runs out in, say, 100 years? Why don't you make me?
possibly go back to work and keep going. I had stopped work to go into the hospital because I needed, I needed some treatment. Mm -hmm. And if they weren't going to give me, uh, give me a shot or okay. something, uh, I, I couldn't see how I could possibly go to work again. There was nothing that you could enjoy? Mm, you absolutely could nothing. There was no one I could see that I'd be glad to see. There was nothing anybody could say that, that would cheer me. Would cheer me. Although, as I've said before, I, I could still tell a joke. Even then? Even then I could tell a joke. And make other people laugh? Yes. Because I think the reason for that is that I'd always been known to be a joker and I enjoyed the fact that people in, in, enjoyed me telling them jokes, and they would, it would give them a good impression of me. Mm -hmm. I think that was the reason why I could still, I tried to, to muster up the, the, the strength to tell a story so somebody would, would notice me. Mm -hmm. And you could do it. And I could do it. Yes, strangely. And in fact, some of the nurses remarked, you know, how, how well I told the story. <laughs> and, uh, and how good humored you were, I suppose. Yes. Although others others uh, didn't understand me so well and told me to get the long look off my face. There was one nurse in particular, of course, I won't mention any names, but there was one nurse in particular who, who uh, I didn't think really belonged there. And, uh, how was that? No. Pardon? How old she didn't belong there? Because uh, I... I uh, I was sitting there, and my face was, must have been a mile long, and uh, she more or less criticized me for it. She, uh, uh, this is much to say, ah, there's nothing wrong with you, what are you looking so glum about? Mm -hmm. And I, I have to believe that. I have to believe that she, she was right. But the, 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 the reason nothing wrong with me is all I had to do was be a man and snap out of it. And that made you feel worse. That made me feel worse. <laughs> That's the sort of thing that people would do, still do quite frequently when somebody is depressed or looks that way and say, oh, well, just snap out of it, and uh, then the person feels worse because they think they should and they can't. Yeah. So, well, a lot of people, you know, say, oh, I feel kind of depressed today. I think everybody has ups and downs through, through, through life, you know. Mm -hmm. But there's no comparison. I had ups and downs before I ever had one of these depressions of which I'm speaking now. Mm -hmm. Uh, there are no words can, uh, can, uh, can describe the difference between it and the ordinary ups and downs that, uh, that, everyone, that everyone has. Because in these ups and downs through life, you uh, you know that, well, tomorrow I'm going to feel better, the sun will be shining and so on. But when you're in this type of depression I speak of, uh, it doesn't matter whether it's a black of night or whether the sun is shining, whether it's pouring rain or whether it's snowing or anything else, nothing looks, uh, looks good. It's all blackness. It's, it's very difficult to put a thing like that into words. Well, there's an old saying about this place called hell where bad people go to after they're dead, mm -hmm. after they die, that the worst part about hell is not the flames, it's the hopelessness. Mm -hmm. And I think that is the part of hell that a person in depression really tastes. The hopelessness. The hopelessness, that terrible hopelessness. Everything is black. There, nothing looks, nothing, uh, you can see, just, there's nothing cheerful in anything. All you see, all I could see was death. Uh, for instance, I'd say, what, what's the use of, of getting up? What's the use of eating? I'm only going to die someday anyway. What's the use of doing anything? Because, it's pointless. It's all going to end in death. Whether I uh, arrange to do it to myself or whether I just sit it out 